the beautiful rugged North Cornwall coast, home to a rich variety of marine wildlife. Beyond those breakers live basking sharks, makos, threshers, blues, poor beagles and others. The poor beagle is a first cousin of the great white and because it is good to eat is a valuable fish targeted by commercial fishermen. In July 2007 I put together an expedition with seven volunteers and a scientist to film and learn more about this amazing shark. What a beautiful animal. This is the first good quality footage of free swimming poor beagles. Just like a smaller version of the great white, distinguished by the white blob on the back edge of the dorsal fin. Poor beagles are classed by the UN's IUCN as critically endangered. Historically they have often been targeted and because they school or form aggregations, often by sex, they're extremely vulnerable. In December 2003, fisherman Martin Ellis caught and killed 140 sharks off South Cornwall. Most were female. This will have been a devastating blow to the population in that general area. The missions of the expedition were to catch, satellite tag, film and photograph these sharks for the first time on this side of the Atlantic. Satellite tags pop off after preset periods. Ours were set for 30, 60 and 90 day deployments. When the tags pop off, we know where the shark has been for the deployment time period. This data will be vital in lobbying for protection. There is no way to be gentle when rod and line catching sharks and putting electronic tags in their backs. We did everything we could to minimize distress and return the sharks to the water as fast as possible. We placed wet towels over their heads, which has a calming effect, and all sharks caught swam off strongly. The tag is fitted, and this shark gets ready to return to the water hoping never to encounter a human again. We know he was fine because his tag popped off 30 days later after its full deployment term several miles away off Newquay. The case for sharks is not helped by media hysteria. In early August 2007, the tabloid press had a field day at the expense of sharks. A claimed great white sighting off St Ives turned into an eight-day media feeding frenzy, with new sightings being claimed daily. Most of these were basking sharks. One genuine photograph of a great white was later admitted as a hoax. While sharks are portrayed inaccurately and vilified in this way, the job of conservationists to get the real message across is made that much more difficult. With all the hype going on in South Cornwall, the real shark story was going on across the water from where we were working at Lundy Island. This wonderful, rich marine environment is a no-take area, one of only three marine protected areas in the whole United Kingdom. Two weeks after our expedition, we learned that a longliner working just outside the protected area had caught and killed over 60 poor beagles. We later heard the number was probably nearer to 90. Sharks mature late, produce few young and have long gestation periods. In poor beagles this vulnerability is increased due to their tendency to aggregate. Existing data shows clearly that poor beagles cannot take heavy fishing pressure if populations are to remain healthy and sustainable. These critically endangered beautiful sharks need help and we hope our expedition will lead towards achieving local protection in Cornish waters. <laughs>